I practice expressing my thoughts as much as possible and I try to do this um, whenever I could. Can you tell us about your Oxford Mathematics interviews, please? Right. I remember being really nervous for my interviews. I, I interviewed at Magdalen College where I had two interviews and I actually had two more interviews, uh, one at Merton College and one at St. Hugh's, which is where I'm at now. And during these four interviews, I saw many interesting questions. One really interesting question I thought was a question about cubes and the number of vertices a cube has in well, three dimensions, four dimensions, and even higher dimensions. And it didn't stop there. We also discussed how many edges there are in these dimensions. And we tried to find a formula for each one of these. I thought that was quite interesting. There were also very hard questions. Uh, one particular question I remember is, I was asked to sketch the normal distribution, uh, which looks like the bell curve, and I was asked to sketch its derivative by i, and its derivative as well, so two derivatives. And that was easy enough, you just sketch it. And then he asked me, um, do I notice anything about the number of turning points and the number of roots as we go down. And then I notice actually that as we differentiate, each time the number of roots and the number of turning points increased by one. And then the question was given to me, can you prove that formula is true? And that was really difficult. I was really stumped at the beginning and actually I didn't know what to say. But luckily for me, the interviewer, he gave me a prompt. He said, uh, he gave me a hint about some theorem that is really useful for this and I, imme I immediately managed to um, use this hint and then go on to answer that question. So I thought that was really, well, really scary at first, but really rewarding at the end. Um, I actually didn't get asked anything about my personal statement in the interview, which I thought wasn't too strange. I suppose they're not really interested in it at the interviews. Um, yeah. Which aspect do you I think that the interviewers really like to see me struggle through the questions because they want to see how I think, they want to see the process in which I go about a question and so they would really like giving me difficult questions um, so that I do struggle with it and they would often give me hints to see if I can cooperate with them if I do attend the university. Um, and to prepare for those interviews, I kept that in mind, I practice expressing my thoughts as much as possible um, and I did this by speaking out loud when I'm by myself answering a math question um, and I tried to do this um, whenever I could. Tell us about your Oxford Mathematics interview Well, I've already mentioned that I try to speak my thoughts as much as possible. Uh, other than that, I, I was really keen on solving math BMO questions, British Math Olympiad questions. And I feel like that's helped out a lot with my problem solving skills. It gave me a good intuition on how to solve questions. Um, and I think it made me a better problem solver all around. Um, I did um, interview mock interviews with my teachers. Uh, they were quite kind enough to do these sessions with me. And they emphasized that I should be speaking my thoughts out as much as possible. Even when I was uh, struggling to come up with an answer, they encouraged me time and time again to uh, try to give suggestions as to how to solve the problem. For example, maybe we can solve this by induction, even though you're not sure how you would do that, and so on. So I did these things um, quite often, and I did it about two times a week with my teachers, these mock interviews. And these other things I mentioned, I tried to keep them ongoing in the background as I prepared for my interviews.